What's up, everybody? It is Jackson Galaxy, your cat daddy, and welcome to November. And November is Adopt a Senior Cat Month. Woohoo! Today, we're gonna talk about, you guessed it, senior cats. If you haven't gone out and adopted a senior cat, and we'll talk about that a little later on, uh, you have one at home, and I'm here to help you out, uh, make sure that their life is the best it can possibly be. And if you don't have a senior cat right now, you know what? You have a cat, and at some point they're gonna be seniors, so you're gonna need this. Let's get moving. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is vet care. Changes happen fast in senior cats, and if you're nice and observant about your cat's life, you, you, you'll see that maybe they're walking a little stiffly, maybe Maybe they're not eating or drinking as much as they were before. And the first thing, of course, you always want to rule out is something happening physically to them. The best thing that you can do really is once you start getting to a point where they're in the, to their double digits, make sure that you're going for that yearly exam. And, and in some cases, if they're dealing with issues that are getting a little more advanced, you're going twice a year, you know? And, and then again, you notice anything, you're into the vet. Whether it's their kidneys, their thyroids, we see a lot of that happening. Depending on their weight, we see uh, diabetes and and of course arthritis is the big culprit that that as anybody gets along in age they're gonna get a little creaky and so uh, that's what your vets there to do whether your vet is an integrative vet or whether not and you have to go to somebody else I really do recommend you starting to explore you know and at one point we called it you know alternative care and it was holistic and integrative I'm talking about things like modalities like acupuncture or tele Wellington Touch, which is something great that you can do at home. Hold laser therapy, things that really do help senior cats just feel better all the way around. I mean, it's like a spa day for your cat. A little acupuncture, a little cold laser. You know, they're back home kicking it and they're like, come on, bring it on. Let's go play some racquetball, kid. You know, I, well, boy, that's in my head right now. Cat playing racquetball. Anyways, point is that any little help that we can give our cats along the way, it goes a long way for those seniors. And, and I just would absolutely encourage you to explore those therapies for your seniors. So now let's move on to nutrition. You've heard me say it before, I'll say it again. I really do believe that the best diet for a cat is a raw diet. Underneath that is a grain-free wet diet, then just wet, and then down at the bottom is dry. In my opinion, as cats get older, that need to keep water Water going through their system at all times is just that much more important. It keeps their kidneys functioning at an optimal level. It keeps them hydrated, and that's a, a hugely important thing. And in nature, a, a cat will get 70 to 75 percent of their natural hydration through their food, not necessarily through their water. So we don't want to just leave it up to them to drink constantly. We also want to just get that into them through their food. So, for instance, with a wet diet, one of the things I would recommend for your senior is adding just a little bit more warm water into their wet food, which of course actually makes it more palatable. It just releases more of the scent of that food, but you turn it into a bit of a stew and you're making sure that your cat has that water going through their system. It just, it really does go a long way for seniors. And just because they get older doesn't mean that they need any less of what they always needed, which is meat. They are uh, obligate carnivores, whether they're baby kittens or whether they're 16, 17, 18, 19 years old, it's all the same. And that also leads me to the water side of things, which is to make sure that you've got plenty of water around the house. If your cat is into fountains, make sure you have more than one. If they're into more sitting water, you know, in a bowl. Don't forget, stress will bring on things like urinary tract infections and keeping water going through their system again is one of those ways to not prevent it, but it will definitely help. It's really important as your cat gets older that you adapt with them, and we've been talking about physical health, but along with that comes adapting to their environmental needs as well. So let's talk for a second about a senior cat catification. One of the things as your cat gets older, and again, bones get creaky, man, bones get creaky, joints get creaky over time. So that means that you might not want to have those cat trees anymore where you're asking them to get up high the way they used to, which would include not just jumping up, but jumping down. It's the jumping down, gravity taking its hold and the cat hitting the ground that may hurt a whole lot more than it used to hurt. So start thinking about ramps. Just expecting them to jump up into the bed after a lot of years might be 
too much. If you notice that your cat is not hanging out in the bed the way they used to, then make sure that you got either steps or ramps. Uh, the same thing goes for their favorite vertical spots in the world. If they used to love sitting on the back of the couch, they're not there anymore. Ramp up to the, the, the back of the couch or up to their favorite cat trees. And it can be something as simple as a plank of wood, a two by four with some carpeting on it. And that leaned from the couch to the floor. And there you have it. This is just a much easier way for them to get around. And that is the order of the day as they get older is, you know, the, we talk about like the shortest distance between two points, swimming downstream or all those things that I find myself saying these days. And now we're not just talking about catification in sort of the traditional sense of just having some ramps around the house, which is going to help. But we're also talking about litter boxes and litter. Let me explain. So as we get older, and again, this is about getting our bodies, our bodies. I don't get in and out of litter boxes. I mean, I do try to practice what I preach, but not to that degree. Cats getting in and out of litter boxes, especially if, they're, if they've got the higher front, if uh, they've got lids on them, and a cat's gotta get into the box uh, with a little bit of uh, uh, adeptness, that's going to take a hit over time. So just because your uh, senior cat pees out of the box one time, don't freak out. It's not just they're sending you a message, which of course, like I always say, you go to the vet first and rule things out, but it could just stay start getting really hard for them to get in the box. I know a lot of folks who uh, they have their litter boxes down in the basement or uh, upstairs. If your cat's gotta use stairs to get to their litter box, they're probably gonna stop at some point because it's just more trouble than it's worth. The same thing holds true with litter. Just because your cat used the same litter for many years doesn't mean that over time the, the feeling of, for instance, clay on their paws or crystals or things like that on their paws is still going to feel good because arthritis can happen anywhere. It can happen elbows, shoulders, wrists, or, or their paws themselves, their digits, right? If your senior cat just has a few accidents, especially if it's right near the litter box, then the thing I would recommend you do is get a very low-sided, litter box and one of the best hints I got for you is they make litter boxes for puppies and they're very low sided basically you walk in you walk out there's barely a lip to it use one of those bad boys and then just try a different litter now I'm not saying replace your litter box I'm saying add another one don't ever just switch it out add a new litter box that puppy litter box put something really nice and soft in that box you know see if they're more attracted to that that gives you a lot of answers you know but just start seeing problems that might arise through the lens of a senior cat as opposed to problem behavior or unwanted behavior. And again, take a look at those stairs, man, because I've seen that happen a lot. Another catification note is that really as cats get older, I've noticed anyway, they start becoming real heat misers, man. They're, they're looking for heat sources even more than they might have when they were younger. Now, not only is a nice cushy bed or six or seven of them a great thing to have around the house, there are beds uh, that are made with a layer of mylar inside them and they become sort of self-heating. They take your, your cat's body temperature and they sort of reflect it back up to them. And that actually makes for a very nice uh, toasty cat. There's also products that you can get out there where you plug it in. It's a very low voltage heated bed. Uh, and that also just goes a long way with a cat who's a heat miser uh, getting up there, not calling you guys misers. I'm just saying that as you get up there, uh, heat is at a premium. So check that out as well. One more thing to talk about is just this general loss of sense acuity, whether that's their eyesight, their hearing, these things go with time. Not in every cat, but a lot of times it happens quickly and it really is up to you to pay attention to these things. The old snap test is something that's uh, a good thing to do uh, for your cats. Just every now and again, walk behind them, do a little snap snap and just make sure that their ears are doing that, that little turn to, to check out what's going on behind them. Um, because again, it, it, it's hard for you to know what your cat's going through, but losing uh, any of their senses, especially at that age, they already feel vulnerable, especially in a home with other cats, other beings, their sense of like what keeps them the raw cat, what keeps them sharp is going. And that is something that can cause stress in them. So make sure you're paying attention to it. A lot of times, if it's about their eyesight going, you wanna make sure that you keep the lights on instead of making the house completely dark at night, just to give them a little added help. It's about watching, uh, 
how your cat is interacting with their territory and noticing any small changes and like I said adapting. When it comes to dementia check out this video right above my head right now. Uh, this this video will give you a little more of a deep dive into dementia which is again very common. It just wasn't diagnosed very often until the last 10-12 years but when it comes to something like dementia again this sounds like I'm talking about eyesight but I'm really not. A lot of times you would notice it with a cat at night you turn off the lights and they just start to howl they start to make this noise and oftentimes that's just when the lights go out I'm just not knowing where I'm at I have solved this problem before with just sort of running lights across the floor now they have those LED strip lights or night lights or anything like that just a nice little low amount of light and sometimes you may want to just bring them into the bedroom with you or wherever it is they tend to want to sleep um, just to give them that little extra added comfort uh, because they just might need it. Now this wouldn't be a Jackson Galaxy video if I didn't talk about playing with your cat. And I know I can hear you. I can hear you through this camera, through the lens, through your monitor right now going, Jackson, my cat is 13 years old and he doesn't play anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because here's the thing, they don't play like a kitten. That doesn't mean that the raw cat still doesn't need an outlet. And even if that's just moving around a little bit, taking that sort of worm toy and letting it sort of disappear around the back of the couch just so that your cat for a second goes, huh, what's that? And just pads on over there and maybe gives it a little swipe swipe. And then after that, you know, you round the corner again. You don't need them to run laps around the house or, or go up and down the stairs or just jump around or whatever. It's about about occupying that raw cat mind-body connection that helps to keep them young you guys it's just that interaction you know it's like with 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 human seniors getting activity going even if it's a matter of doing puzzles or talking to other humans getting out in the world really does help uh, keep us young the same thing goes with cats we just got to know what makes the raw cat happy and go with that you know so play is still a big part of the equation you should be doing it regularly not to mention the fact that it just keeps the joints moving a little bit man and that's also good if your cat is is really not up for moving around much at this point then think about food puzzle toys and there are food puzzle toys that are just static they, meaning that they just sit there so it's not a ball that rolls around and you knock it out and you get a treat the treats are actually within this sort of playstation they still have to occupy mind and body just to get those treats out of there and I don't care how old or young you are a good treat is worth the work <laughs> uh, and finally, when it comes to play slash catification, think about cat TV. Man, a cat is never too old to sit on a nice comfy bed, look out the window, look at the birds and be like, <laughs> swipe, swipe. You know, that kind of thing keeps it all sharp, man. It, it, it's all about keeping the raw cat, the hunter, sharp. And you can do that no matter how old you are. So those are just a few hints about how to keep your cat happy as they get into their golden years. Age is not a disease. And just because your cat is getting older doesn't mean that we have to treat them like crystal. We can still sort of challenge them to be their best selves even as they're getting older. All of these points that I've given you today are equal measure preventative and reactive. It's about observational and adaptive love, you know, that you are just keeping a close eye on your guys like I've said a couple of times now changes can happen rapidly if suddenly your cat is drinking a little bit more than you're used to seeing them drink or if they're eating less or more or if they've just suddenly not moved off their bed for a day or so you really want to pay attention to that uh, if they miss the litter box or if they suddenly stop using the litter box go to the vet of course first uh, but also just start adapting the environment for them and and that will make for a better longer life don't forget cat lives have gotten a lot longer. It was not long ago that the average cat life was only about 10, 11 years. We're up to about 16 years average for cats now. And, and of course, if you guys have ever uh, seen my story and you know my darling Valoria who lived 26 years with me, I mean, cats can get that old. I mean, it's not normal. I'm, just, I'm not just, I'm just saying, she was kind of magic. They can live that long and it's just about adapting with them. So even
even though it is uh, November, again, Adopt a Senior Cat Month, every month should be Adopt a Senior Cat Month. It is the most beautiful thing to bring an older cat into your life. I don't know if you guys know this, but senior cats sit around in animal shelters a whole lot longer than anybody else does because I guess people want the young guys, right? But it's the older guys that not only do they need a home worse, but they bring so much to your home. I mean, believe me, a senior cat who was sitting in a shelter and is now all nice and cozy and getting loved on in your house, man, they know they hit the gravy train. They know they got it good and they pay you back in spades. But it's just a wonderful thing to do to give a senior cat a home. So think about that. Ain't nothing wrong with getting old, little whippersnappers. That's because I can't jump off the high dive board anymore. It doesn't make me any less spry. What? What's that you said? I, you said something. Freaking kids. All right, you guys, take care of your senior cats. And, and if you haven't already adopted one, go out there and adopt a senior cat, man. You'll make their life a lot better. And don't forget, hit all the bells and whistles down here. Make sure that you see the videos when you're meant to see them, which is right away, right when they come out. And don't forget, the comments are for you to say, Jackson, I would love to see you make a video about dot, 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 because I would like nothing better than to make a video about dot, dot, dot. All right, until next time, you guys, all light and all love and all mojo to you. And just get off my lawn, you whippersnapper. Meow.